Hello everybody, my name is Benjamin Tuttle and I'm going to be walking through a pretty simple lighting setup for this particular character. Uh, I only use three main lights. I used a point uh, and two rectangular lights. The point lights is just to fill for background. And I used a backlight and a key light to fill in features. This is kind of a, a similar Robert Richardson style, which he uses a strong backlight, then uses reflectors to bounce the light from the backlight into the character's face. I mean, it worked for this character, it might not for you, but it hopefully it just gives you a glimpse of what I work with when it comes to lighting, because lighting's incredibly important in your storytelling. And iClone has a very default light, you know, their the default light is very lifeless, and a lot of people just kind of leave it as is, they don't take consideration of lighting, and it just kind of makes the productions look the same, it's very flat and lifeless. But all these little changes, this uh, little strategy, you don't need to copy it, but you just need to be aware like how to light and what difference does it make. And it's all just trial and error and looking at diagrams and knowing what the difference between key fill and back is. So let's begin. Um, the first thing I did was I set a point light, but this is just mostly fill for the background. So I set this to two. It's a normal white light. I didn't really change any colors. It just all it's there is just giving a little details towards the background. But at the same time, you know, it also provides a little bit of backlight. Not as much, but you'll see it with the backlight here, which is just a rectangular light. Uh, there's a little bit of color change. I made it to a slight yellow, and I'm going to crank my intensity to 50. Now, I added volumetric fog, so there's a little bit of a halo effect here. And backlight's kind of an interesting thing. It gives, uh, it makes the character stand out a bit. Um, you know, you instantly notice it because, you know, you want to give a little life in your storytelling. So I, I think this method works pretty well uh, at times. It, it depends on what you want to do. But, you know, a strong backlight, normally I would get like a reflector and bounce the light back at her face, but I didn't really know how to do that or I don't really know exactly how to pull that off in Unreal. So I just used a normal key light. I had a rectangular light here. Uh, a little bit of teal, just kind of a cool color, and I switch it to four. And really, that's my lighting. Um, very simple, just three lights, one to fill in the background, one to bounce a harsh backlight, and one fill for her face. And really, that's all it needs. So it doesn't have to be complicated, but just know where to put the lights, and what colors to work with, and how intense the lights need to be. And really, that's, that's all I got to say about it. It's... So, um, a lot of trial and error, and hopefully this helps you. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I'll probably see if I can do a lighting course. It's just hard for me to teach it. I've, I need to have a lighting kit in my hands. But hopefully this helps. Uh, thank you for watching.